So you want to record live stream to your phone or your iPad and you're frustrated because you can't do a countdown. So I'm going to show you a couple of apps that you can use actually one good app that you can use that will do that for you. Okay. So the app we're going to use today is called prism live. And so we're going to open up our iPad here and um, let's just go through what we normally would do. So normally we would go to Facebook, and then we would go to one of our pages. In your case, you would probably go to your church page. And so we would go to our page here. And then we would go to overview. And then we would go to live. <clears throat> so once we're in live, we're going to switch our camera here. And once we're in live, as you can see, we can see the live. We can see what live is going to show us. Okay. In this case, some guitars and etc. And all we would have to do is uh, press start here. And once we press start, we're actually live now. And so we're shooting live. Okay. But unfortunately, we can't do anything interesting. We can't shoot anything that's, you know, out of the ordinary. We can't add any text. We can't do anything from our phones. However, if we have this app that I'm about to show you called Prism Live, we can do that and more. So let me show you real quick. Let's search and it's spelled P R I S M. And you're going to look up for Prism Live Studio. <clears throat> so I've already downloaded it in the past. All I'm going to do right now is re download it. Okay, so now let's, let's go ahead and open it. And what's great about this program is once it's set up, you'll have it set up for any future updates you're going to, uh, any future uploads you're going to do, any future live streams you're going to do. So we're going to go ahead and continue with now I've already set it all up so that's why it says continue but you're gonna set yourself up with Facebook so we're gonna continue with Facebook and then say continue to sign in okay okay Okay, so now that we are all set up, all we'd have to do is we're gonna set ourselves up to go landscape. So we just tilt our phone or our camera in this case. And we're also gonna change our orientation of our camera. We're gonna shoot the front, the forward facing camera. So now our forward facing camera is all set up. And now all we have to do to go live is click on the little slap, the, you know, the little movie, uh, thing there that's right there and so now at the bottom corner you're going to see where it says set destination so once we set the destination we can set up youtube facebook etc so let's set up facebook so we're going to set up facebook connect our facebook say continue now just like that we're connected to facebook really easily so now we're going to say uh, either only me or friends, etc. But we don't even have to do our own timeline. Obviously, if you're going to be doing this for your church, you're going to set up your church's page. So let's imagine I'm going to go to my page and I'm going to set up my company page, which is Musica Religiosa. So once I say that and say, okay, now I'm set up on Musica Religiosa's page. Okay. So once we do that, we can just go ahead and go live. But again, I'm going to show you what's so cool about Prism Live. One of the better things that Prism Live allows you to do is to actually um, upload videos or pictures or even text to your live stream. And you can even do that in real time or you can do it beforehand and just get it set up so that you can um, do all the live streaming. That's what we're going to do right now. We're going to preload everything and then you, I'm going to show you how easy it is to actually put that on a live stream so let's go ahead and start out with our countdown okay so we've already uploaded a, a video of a countdown and so i'm going to go ahead and click on this little um, area here that has a little plus symbol and that's our intro so we can set up an introduction and that's what we want to do a countdown right so we're going to set up the intro here go to my studio we're going to add our media so let's go ahead and add our media Here's my 30 second countdown. 
I'm going to add that. And so now that we've got that added, go back. We're going to add that to our intro. And just like that, we have a 30 second intro. Very cool, huh? So before we get started on our live, let's add a couple of things. Let's add, for example, the pastor's name and maybe some scripture that he might be saying. So let's go ahead and do that. So the same thing we do, we're going to swipe from left to right or from right to left. Yeah, we're going to do from right to left. And that brings up the, the previous video that we had. And we can also add some text. But what's great about the text is that we can add just regular text or animated text. So we're going to go ahead and go to caption. And we're going to say lower third, the first one here. And that's what it's going to look like. So then we're going to tap on it and we're going to say um, pastor or we're going to say reverend. Stephen Bob run. I don't know, just making up a name, right? So Stephen Bob run, and we're going to say um, First Church. First Church, just, you know, First Church of any church, right? And so now we click away, and then we say done up in the right hand corner, and then now it's in our buffer. So now that it's in our buffer, we can add another one. Let's add some scripture here. So we're going to go to back to caption. We can even add the entire scripture if you'd like. Or in this case, where we're just going to do another lower third. And we're just going to say, okay, so now that that's done, we can click and copy the John 15, 13. And then we know that this is from John 15, 13. Okay. And so now we have that one set up. We can even uh, say, we, once we say done, it's set up. So now we have everything lined up. We're going to go ahead and go live. So now we swipe again. We're going to go ahead and go live. And so it's going to start in landscape mode, obviously, if you're in landscape mode. And once it starts, now you have your 30 second countdown that you've been waiting for. You also have the option to skip the countdown if you know that everybody's already you know sad and things like that so once everything is set there let's let it go down to 10 seconds and then just go ahead and skip it so now we're going to go ahead and skip and then now we have our live stream let's imagine that the pastor's up on the podium speaking now so you're going to swipe and then you're going to go and click on it you're going to place where it's supposed to be you can pinch to zoom to make it a little bit bigger if you'd like and once you let go, it's going to go ahead and start its animation. For some animations, not all of them, but once the animation is over, it's going to go ahead and reverse, and then the animation is done. Isn't that cool? So let's say that now he's preaching on John 15, 13. You can go ahead and swipe again, and then put this right here. Let's say we're going to put it in the middle, and we're going to make it nice and big like that. Again, just let it go. And then the animation is going to go ahead and happen. It's going to stay for a few seconds. And then it's going to go away. Pretty cool, huh? So once you're done, of course, you just press end. And the broadcast is ended. You also get the option of saving your broadcast on your iPhone or iPad. Or you can even play it back. What's great about the video that happened for the intro is that you can load up video that has its own sound it won't record any sound that's happening live until you have it starting which is awesome okay so if you have any other questions let me know if you're interested in doing it hooking up an external uh video camera uh, or camcorder or anything like that let me know because that's a whole different issue and uh i'd like to get you situated with that too so have a wonderful day again prism live is completely free and uh it's really easy to use and i don't believe you need to have uh any sort of limitations on how many people are connected and things like that so enjoy